Is it rolling? Oh, here's Coco. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a great week. Um, today we're going to be doing something slightly different than what I would normally do. I wanted to do something kind of fun and festive for like summer and then I was really inspired um, by these like summer essential videos I've been seeing across YouTube and I just thought it was fun. Um, so I really wanted to kind of do like my take on it. Um, and being in Hawaii, um, it's literally summer year round non-stop so i feel like i've mastered you know like my selection of products and then um within each category i do like have like um other recommendations just so that you guys can see like different price points formulas just in case you know it's because everyone's different whether it's budget wise skin type um everyone has different preferences so i hope that this video is helpful um I really, like like I said, <laughs> I really tried my best to narrow them down, so I'm not going to have something for like every category in like a normal beauty routine. These are just like the ones that are the most useful for the summer months. So let's get right into it. So before we get to the face products, let's not neglect the body, especially since, you know, people tend to show a little bit more skin um, in the summer months because obviously it's warmer. So I feel like an essential is a good body scrub. And I have super sensitive skin, so I can't use anything too harsh. For a while, I didn't use any body scrub because I was scared because I would get like flakes on my body and like bumps on my body. It was just gross but i found one that i have been sticking to for months now um and it is the soap and glory smoothie star breakfast scrub wow you might have seen it in one of my like videos last year but it's just one of those things that is just it just smells amazing it feels so nice on the skin I will say it did kind of feel a little rough when you're rubbing it in, but I didn't notice my skin having any like negative reaction to it. So I love it. My skin feels super smooth after I rinse it off. Like even in the shower, I can already feel my skin softening, but it just, the smell is amazing. And as you can see, I'm almost through with this jar. So it's really good. And I feel like it's pretty affordable. Um, I got this one from Target and this is, yes, 10 fluid ounces. So that's a shit ton of product. So it's going to last you, I mean, all summer and maybe even past summer. Um, but yeah, this is like a staple. All right. So this next product is something that's newly added to my post shower routine. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It is the fur oil. Um, they did send this to me there, but I'm not getting paid to say this. Um, so first of all, thanks for oil so much for sending me this because I've actually been eyeing this for a few months now. I know I've seen it, um, all over like some of my favorite influencers, Instagrams and everything like that. So I was really intrigued, but you know, it's just one of those things that you never really follow through with. Um, so they contacted me and so far I am loving this. It has a really nice, um, I don't even know, like a lemony, citrusy scent, which I love. It's so refreshing, but it does wear off um, after a few minutes. But pretty much this is an oil for your hair. Um, and Emma Watson, I know she's like famous uh, for using this, um, but it's made for like mainly your pubic hairs or you can use it like on your underarms, your leg hairs, your arm hairs, whatever. But what I use this for, um, and like I said, I've only been using this for maybe two weeks now. Um, so I will do a full review. It's uh, kind of more of like a watery, like oily consistency. But like once you start kind of rubbing it in, you just it just feels like you have soap on your skin. It's unbelievable. Um, and I have noticed even in the time that I've been using it, my skin has been like unbelievably soft it does absorb very nicely and it doesn't leave your you know sheets or your t-shirts or whatever you're wearing feeling oily and greasy but yeah i'm really enjoying this that's all that i can say for it now and i'm trying to find more uses for it because there's a ton all right so next up is a body lotion because obviously during the summer I mean, you think that you'd get oily and stuff like that, but for me personally, my body gets super dry. So you need a good lotion, but not just a good like 
cream i think it's important that you have something that's gonna give you i don't know i feel like an added like sheen and stuff like that um an extra glow to the skin is a plus for summer especially if you're gonna be wearing like sundresses shorts stuff like that um and of course if you're thinking what i'm thinking then shout out to you but glossier um perfecting body cream this is just it's amazing <laughs> glow so it turns out white like this it's a super thick cream it just feels so luxurious and the price point is amazing um but once you rub it in just look at that glow and then especially when it's on like a big section like your legs it just gives you like the most you just look so hydrated so it's super super nice and flattering and it really does keep you moisturized throughout the day and it smells amazing Ugh. just smells so fresh and feminine a bit florally but not too intense oh gosh i missed this campaign i wish it can go back to last year when i was in um la and i was able to see like the campaigns like right in front of me on like the billboards and stuff it was such an iconic moment in my life anyway okay so now we're gonna step in to um like the face products and of course first step is spf so i have two here that um i use enough to know that they're just amazing so the first one is the glossier invisible shield spf 35 if you are into more of a dewy finish this one is perfect it is clear um it's like a clear gel consistency it does not leave any type of white cast whatsoever and it just wears so nicely under the makeup and it just smells amazing it has like a nice citrus scent um so yeah i love this one and then there's the super goop which i've used up as you can see she's like super skinny and used up um but this one's completely the opposite of this one so if you like glowy go for this but if you're looking for something a little bit more mattified and kind of blurs the pores a little bit um i would recommend this one broad spectrum spf 40 um this one's amazing i did enjoy it while i was using it it has more of that like clear primer um look and feel kind of reminds me of like that smashbox primer that's like the really popular one so there's that right there you see it's like kind of like a gel and this one also goes on clear as well so two beautiful spf products that have worked perfectly for me and these have not broken me out which is big because i have sensitive skin and most do so yes these would say like my holy grail sunscreens okay so this next category may not be for everyone because i know that some people are really into you know like the full face foundation full coverage which is fine um but i would think for the uh what do you call the warmer months maybe um some of you are looking for you know good lighter products um everyday face products like the base um and these three i love a lot so the first one is the laura mercier tinted moisturizer um broad spectrum spf 20 this is a cult favorite so you guys probably already know um this one is just just simply amazing um when you put it on it has just the, like i'm actually wearing it today um i did od on my blush but let's ignore that um as you can see i still have like my natural skin peeking through but it just like really evens out the skin tone because naturally my face is whiter than the rest of my body but as you can see it really did um you know just neutralize that color so yeah this one is just like simple great does the job spreads really nicely i use it with my fingers it's literally like you're putting on moisturizer um <laughs> but you know it evens out the skin tone so it's great I use a light powder over it and you're like set to go the next one is the glossier perfecting skin tan you would have seen me use this in some of my past videos um this one is great uh unlike this one it it's more of like a light watery consistency it is a tint but it is way it's like this is no coverage at all but it does even out the skin tone and it leaves your skin with this nice 
really velvety smooth finish um glossier did reformulate this product i am going to order it and i will um maybe do a video with it to let you guys know if there's like any big difference but yeah i think this one's nice i do use my fingers with all these products i use my fingers just because i'm lazy and i just like to make everything quick but yeah and this is something that you just cannot mess up it comes like a nice tube so you're not gonna have any accidents perfect for travel Okay, and then the last one is the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. This one's a newer product on the market, but I feel like this product really holds its weight in the sense that, first of all, let me just say that it comes in like a stick form, so it's so convenient, um, fuss-free, perfect for on the go. It's super easy to apply, you just take it off, like swirl it around, um, and then when you blend it out, it literally takes seconds to blend out nicely like you don't even have to put any work with this one you just just literally honestly like just rub it a few times and it'll just blend seamlessly to your skin this really does help with texture um helps to like blur out pores and just overall even out the skin tone so all these products are great and they do wear out nicely throughout the day it's not like some foundations that throughout the day you're gonna feel cakey it's okay and then here i have one powder that i think is so perfect for summer um if you guys didn't know you i think i mean shit i don't even know for sure i think it's like two hours i'm not a professional but i think it's you have to apply sunscreen around every two hours before i never even used to do that like i literally used to just um, put it on in the morning and then throughout the day like just completely forget about it but i've been trying to be a little bit um better about it um and i got this honestly like didn't think um, much of it, but this is the super goop invincible setting powder. Um, it comes in this one. It is SPF 45 um, And I've honestly been using it a shit ton like more than I thought I was It works actually fairly well with a lot of like my base face products that I use It doesn't like shift my makeup and it doesn't leave a white cast Which is so perfect. The only thing that I would suggest that they do with this is the packaging honestly is not sturdy um, I do think the concept was great like you have this here's the powder and then you have the cap and then it has this little like little sleeve thing here and you slide down and then you apply it on your face um, but as you can see it got really messy like as you can see powder even got on my hands here like look at that mess um, I try to find out why this is happening and why that's like so messy but yeah, I love this powder. I just wish it was a little bit sturdier and didn't have powder falling everywhere. Next few products are probably my favorite um, thing to do in my like beauty routine, which if you know me, then you already know the answer. It's cream blush. I feel like just overall creams and oils are really your best friend during the warmer months but if you're like me i just use them year round um glossy cloud paints of course and the two new shades this is storm and dawn i feel like these two shades are like the summer shades i love them so much um i am wearing if you didn't notice <laughs> dawn on today and i did kind of od but i felt really kawaii so i didn't um put in too much effort to try to correct it so it is what it is and then the next one is the nude sticks nudies all over face color in the shade in the nude which ugh, i love i feel like this one's so perfect for every day i mean you can really use any of these anyway but if you're like me i really do like my blushes based on my every mood um but yeah i love this one for like every day it comes in a stick form too so it's super convenient and easy all of these blushes are just so lovely the formula is perfect for summer a little goes a long way it wears so nicely throughout the day it's just a super quick easy product to work with okay and then the next set of products are the cream highlighters more cream products like i said creams oils are the ones so the two here that i have um this is the glossier halo scope in the shade topaz which is like a long time favorite and then this one is the new stick nudies all over face color in hey honey both of these come in stick form they're cream perfect gold shimmery bronzy shades they don't give like that clunky glitter look it just really makes it look like it's the glow of your own skin but right now i have on hey honey and you see that it just it doesn't look powdery, it doesn't look chalky, it just looks so like 
a lit from within type of highlight perfect for summer and any time really but just it makes you look so effortless and just like glowy and free and then the next category <laughs> might be a little bit overwhelming lip products i am a total lippy junkie um i love uh, tinted products and then um for summer though i've been wearing glosses a lot um i don't know i just feel like they're just so effortless so quick um you don't have to be like too careful because even if they kind of budge a little bit you can just wipe it off and it's not going to leave like you know like a uh, color residue anywhere so two glasses that i have here is the fenty beauty um glass bomb i think that's what it's called i'm actually wearing that right now this is perfect if you want like a nice bronzy lip i feel like it just complements everyone's natural lip color and then the next one is glossier um just the clear gloss um Oldie but goodie. I've had this for a while, didn't use it, just forgot about it, and then all of a sudden, now that it's summer, I've literally, I mean, I think I've wore this every day, like about a week ago. Um, I don't know, I just love it. These two formulas are really great. They're not sticky, they're just really light, um, and they just make your lips look great, and just like, you have water on them, and they just look juicy. And then the next few products are tinted, um, more like tinted lip balms type of situations. I have a few here, so I'm just going to quickly go through them um, individually. So two here, these are just like my holy grails. They're the YSL Tintin Balms. The formula is amazing. Packaging so luxurious. And I don't know, they, to me they all smell like grapefruit they leave such a nice tint of color and just looks juicy and plump so i love these if you're willing to splurge and then another um good one too is your lip glow color reviver balm in um the shade four coral Ugh, another holy grail last year i used these a ton um but yeah this formula is a little bit more thicker um, but it still looks so nice on the lips and it leaves lasting moisture. So this one's really good. Um, a Glossier Gen G's, of course. They're just staples if you're wanting that like more of a matte lip, but still hydrated. Um, this is the shade Leo and Zip. Um, Leo is a good everyday color and then Zip is, of course, a red. And then I have the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color in the shade Blackberry. Ugh, this one is so cute. This one gives you the most bitten lip shade. Um, and then one affordable option that I did want to add in there, because I really do love this. One of my friends, Angela, got me into this one. But this is the Burt's Bees um, Lip Shimmers in the shade Fig. It's 100% natural. Um, this one does have like a little shimmer as you can see. I did get a lot of good use out of it. Um, it has shimmer and it has a minty scent. But if you're looking for like an affordable, good tinted product, I would say these are great. And they so guys, that is all of my summer beauty essentials. I feel like I've been talking forever, but I really try to just fly through them. So I hope you guys didn't get too bored. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that I missed something. I hope I didn't. But if I did, um, please mention them in the comment section down below. Or if you, you know, any good um, products that you like to use during the summer, uh, put them down below as well. I love interacting with you guys. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great summer, whatever you're doing, wherever you're going to go. And I will see you guys in my next video.